Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. I will be doing a simple sunset scene and it will be best for beginners to try this one out so that you will not be stressed out about small details. So we will be doing a simple painting but a very relaxing one. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna do my best to uh, make it look more relaxing and so that you enjoy it more while you do it or while you watch it so i'm gonna background first my square wooden sheet so again if you're using a canvas that is square it's fine you don't have to use the same material as mine you just have to have a proportionate um uh, material so that um well, I'm using a square one. It doesn't have to be of the same size. We just have to be of the same proportion. So just get yourself some square canvas or material or wooden sheet if you also prefer to use that one. And the colors that I will be using for today's tutorial will be listed in the description box below so you can check them out as well. So here are the colors that I'll be using for today's painting. We have cadmium yellow, pink, primary blue, black, white. And that's it. I'll be using a little bit of brown later, but um, that will be later. And this is not actually um, burnt sienna. I'll be using a brown red. And I'm going to adjust the color to make it lighter um, by using more yellow or more black as may be um, necessary. So let's begin now. Again, I'm going to background first my canvas. So I'll be using this brush. And the color of the background will be bluish, purplish, pinkish. It will be of a rainbow effect, not gradient. So I'm gonna wet my brush. And the top will be a little darker. And as I go down, it will be lighter. Okay, so I'm gonna use blue. Okay, right here. I'm gonna get my, I forgot to mention that I'll be using violet, okay? I'll be using violet. Okay, so this is really, really fun. And I think um, children, actually anyone will enjoy doing this. And again, blue. So I'm just gonna alternately use, use those colors Okay, again, some blue, maybe a little bit of violet, just to darken it. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna get my pink. So I'm just gonna dab onto my pink. Remember that I'm not really washing my brush. Actually, I think this will be the most fun painting that I'll be doing in my entire YouTube <laughs> um, painting lesson. Okay, again, a little bit of pink right here. And of course, pink down here. Maybe more pink. And I want you to soften the brush strokes by, you know, gently or by rubbing your brush in a round or in a circular motion. Okay, again, I'm gonna get my pink. I suggest that you don't wash your brush when you dab onto the colors. You just don't wash it. Again, I'm just going to use more pink down here. This is just so fun. Uh, you know, sometimes it's good to create just a fun painting. Again, right here. Okay, I'm going to dab onto my yellow. Okay. And just insert that color right in the center. Okay. Just 
allow that color to be there. As we go near the, um, what they call this area, foreground, okay. Now I'm gonna change my brush, okay? Because I don't want to use the sky colors on the foreground, so I'll be changing it. I'll be using a cleaner brush. Okay, and it's quite big, but not too big. I'll be dabbing onto my yellow. I'll be getting my white. Okay, more white. And I'm just gonna use this color down here. I'm gonna wet it so that, you know, the paint is um, more um, soft. Okay, and you know me, uh, you know, I just wash my hands, but I need to use it for <laughs> blending. I'm just gonna use my hands like this. So again, I'm trying to create a softened, um, a softened blending. All right, just like that. And I really, really like it. Okay, it's, it's actually a good abstract painting already. If you just want to end the painting um, at this point, you can do that. I'm gonna get my white and I'm gonna brighten this part. And I'm just gonna, again, blend. Okay, just like that. All right, I'm gonna blend. All right, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna dab onto my pink. Again, without washing my brush, I just want the pinky color, <laughs> pinky color. <gasps> this painting uh, reminds me of um, marshmallows. I don't like marshmallows, by the way. I only eat marshmallows when it's chocolate coated. <laughs> if there's no chocolate, uh, I find marshmallows kind of icky, like I'm eating cotton or something, <laughs> like I'm eating something that is not supposed to be eaten, <laughs> something like that. I don't know if it's just me who doesn't like marshmallows. Anyway, this reminds me of marshmallows because of the different colors, but this does not make it look yummy. Maybe you can actually imagine um, cotton candy. <laughs> I don't even eat cotton candy, by the way because I feel like it's just sugar. Anyway, why are we talking about those things? <laughs> so I'm gonna wash my brush out and I wanna go back to the top. I wanna relayer it, okay? So I'm just gonna use again my purple. Maybe I'm gonna add, um, all right, I'm just gonna use my purple. I'm gonna try to darken the corners. And to darken it more smoothly, I'm just gonna use my hands. Now, if you're not a fan of finger painting or having direct contact with your colors, okay, um, I do not really suggest that you follow exactly what I'm doing. This is just my way of doing the blending. Now, if you have allergies, whatever, um, you know what to do because you probably, I'm not gonna advise you any medical, <laughs> any medical um, uh, prescription or any, any medical advice I'm not gonna give because I'm not in the position to Oops, sorry about the white. I mix it accidentally. Anyway, so again, I'm not gonna give you any uh, suggestion. 
I'm just gonna um, show you or I'm just showing you how I'm doing it this is a painting class so I've been doing this uh, style for six years or seven yeah six years so if you have your own way of protecting yourself from the direct contact um, with the paints do that okay so I'm just adding a little more purple color but you know uh, years of painting and having direct contact with my paints I haven't had any problems except maybe dirtying my hands but nothing more than that nothing toxic nothing anything like that I'm gonna get my blue again just relayer okay, what we already did just redoing everything okay I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white to my blue so that it's more of a sky blue color okay maybe down here oh that's too that's too blue sky blue but anyway I'm gonna do a little bit of blending just to make it more interesting I really really like this one actually this is my first time to do something like this all right let me check it's actually really nice okay now I'm gonna get another another paintbrush that is cleaner okay and I'm just gonna relayer it with white because I want this area to be really bright. This is the foreground. And by the way, thank you for all those who watch already my tutorial that I just did yesterday. I just really felt um, the desire to create another one today even if I already even if I just did one yesterday nothing can prevent me from painting except myself <laughs> not the rain not the snow nothing all right okay I'm gonna get my yellow maybe I'm just gonna brighten it a bit This is really good, right? This is actually good. Okay. Now I'm gonna do some silhouettes of leaves. But of course, if you want to make your sky more interesting, you can add more blobs of blue. You can do whatever it is that you want when it comes to your sky I'm just giving you a suggestion of how to do it so I wanna create more bluish color All right. I really love this one Okay, now I'm gonna do some silhouette and for the silhouette shape I'm just gonna use this angled brush okay I'm not really particular with the type of brush but this is the one that I grabbed so I'm just gonna use this angled brush so that it's, it's easier for me to draw some lines if it's not effective I'm just gonna change my brush actually I can also use this small square brush it depends on the result <laughs> so I'm gonna try this one first 
So I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna dab onto my, as I told you, I'll be using brown, right? But since I don't have burnt sienna at the moment, I'm just gonna use my brown red. And I'm just gonna lighten it by using yellow. Okay, I'm just gonna use my brown red and I'm gonna add yellow to that so that it's more of a light brownish color. And again, we don't wanna use too much brown because it will appear black, okay? So I just added a little bit of yellow. Now, if you have burnt sienna, you can definitely use that already for the initial um, sketching of the silhouette. The colors, this color will only be used for the background silhouette, but the majority of the silhouette um, sketch or shapes will be in black. So I'm gonna start by drawing, just like that. You can thicken and thin some um, silhouettes. And since these are just silhouettes, don't be scared. It's okay. A lot of these areas will be covered later. So I'm just going to use again my brown red. I'm using a darker version, I mean, a darker um, shade. Just like that. Now, if you will ask me why I'm using brown for the silhouette, as I told you, these are the background um, grasses. So, uh, because of perspective and because of light, some, okay, I just accidentally dab onto my white. Uh, so, some of the leaves will appear brown simply because they are in the background and number two the light is hitting them okay again you can do as many brown color as you want okay, okay i'm gonna dab onto my yellow to make it appear more highlighted of course, you don't want to do that to each and every um, shape. Okay, and now I'm going to dab on. I'm going to wash my brush out, and I'm going to use black. Okay, the black will be the main silhouette. Just going to get some black. And I'll be using the same brush that I use for this brownie um, silhouette. I'm just going to dab onto my black. Maybe add more water so that it flows smoothly on the canvas. And now we'll be doing bigger, okay? Bigger silhouette. First, we do the stems like that before we do the leaves so that, you know, this is already done. Okay, just a reminder to not use the same thickness of the grasses. Some you will create um, thick, some you will create thin. So like this one, maybe I'm just going to create a little thicker one. Okay, now I'm going to go and add some leaves. And I think the angled brush is just perfect for creating the silhouette of leaves it's perfect and it's exactly what I want for this okay so again I'm using the angle the angle of the brush 
to create this um, leaf like brush strokes. And make it look more natural by um, creating leaves that are of different shapes and very rugged as well. You don't want to shape it perfectly because uh, nature is not symmetrical, in all honesty, it's not. When you look at nature, everything is um, imperfect and irregularly shaped. Again, make it as natural looking as possible by going in different directions, not just towards the left, but also towards the right. And maybe some are, some leaves are small, some leaves are definitely bigger. And of course, some leaves are going down. Okay, I'm gonna get my brown. Some will be brown, browning color. Again, not because they're brown, but because of the light. Okay. This is good. Let me check. Okay. All right. And I'm going to soften the sky later. Okay, now I'm going to use a smaller brush so that I create more thin lines. And also add a little bit of irregular um, brush chokes okay now I'm gonna get my yellow I'll be using the same oops okay my brush just mixed with black it's so weird okay, we're gonna use my yellow and I want to highlight okay 
some okay I want to highlight some um, stems very uh, lightly okay now I want to soften again the center I'm gonna use blue and white I just want to soften the middle part. Okay, I'll be using a cloth for this technique. I'll be dabbing on some light blues, but super watered down. And I'm going to use my cloth to spread the paint so that it appears more light. to make it appear light okay I'm getting my pink I'm gonna darken the pink by adding violet to that and I just want to add more hints of pink in the sky part okay, I'm just gonna dab I want to make the the grass is more solid nice and then let me check mm -hmm. 
Okay, I want to clean this part. I feel like it's not that clean. This part. It's too thick. some round um, pinky colors Now I want to insert some white because, and it should be watered down. Just insert it right here, just to make it appear bright. And I'm not sm smudging. I'm just um, tapping, just like that, giving it the light effect. This is actually a very easy painting. Again, don't smudge, just tap. Okay, just giving it some light, light effect. Now I want to use some yellow, water it down, and in the same manner, I'm just going to tap, tap that color. And now you can actually correct the shape of the leaves or the grasses. You can definitely redo that.
Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out, and I think I can sign this now. It's a very simple painting, really uh, made for beginners, and I really hope that you know you can finish it in a much shorter time. I mean, I finish it in about forty minutes, so definitely you can do the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna get my white and I'm just gonna add a little bit of light play along some uh, leaves or grasses okay it's very subtle just allow it allow this white to be there you don't have to highlight each and every leaf or grass just highlight some okay to to really give it that natural um, light effect. Again, you don't want to do this to each and every part of the painting. Just select a few. Just to give it some light. All right. Hey, I think we're good. Okay, adding some light effects by tapping some water down white. You create that light effect. And I think I'm going to sign this already. I'm going to sign right here. It's not a very uh, obvious place to sign, but yeah, I can still see my signature. All right, so that's it. It's very easy very beginner friendly and I hope that you paint along with me especially for those who are just starting to paint or especially for those as well who uh, who were into painting and then um, stopped for quite a while and now they want to paint again so I think this is a good starting point so I hope you enjoy this one and I hope to see you in my next one and I hope too that you watch the previous tutorial i mean prior to this one so that you enjoy you know you enjoy both subjects so see you in my next one and have a great day bye guys mm -hmm. love you